We can't wait to go back to school. That's all I hear. CPS mom Dina Hovell knows there's a Wednesday deadline looming, asking parents to fill out a survey about a potential return to in-person learning. I already filled out my own survey, and um, I talked to the kids, and the kids said, we, we want to go back to school. The survey asks a handful of questions for a first wave of students returning to classrooms, which would be offered to pre-K students and some special education students. The survey is a chance for parents to weigh in and asks them to choose between in-person or at-home learning, then asks them to select from a list of reasons for their choice, like impact on education or health concerns. The survey, as I've seen it, doesn't ask enough. Chicago Teachers Union Vice President Stacy Davis-Gates says each parent may have different concerns about the pandemic and the survey does not allow for nuance. The school district is trying to get yes and no answers, but we're not living in a yes and no period of time. The position of the teachers union has been to keep all learning remote until they see what they deem as a safe reopening plan for students, staff and teachers. The union has filed an unfair labor practice charge against CPS, saying the district has refused to bargain over reopening plans. Our mayor and our public school system, they have to engage, be transparent and provide safety. In a written statement, a spokeswoman for the Chicago Public Schools said, quote, we are disheartened that CTU continues to obstruct and mislead the public about the necessary planning measures needed to prepare for a potential return to safe in-person learning. Today, in a one-on-one -on -one interview with WGN News, Mayor Lori Lightfoot offered her thoughts on the issue. What we know is that remote learning <clears throat> works for some kids, but it doesn't work at all for others. So for me, this is a simple matter of equity. And parent Dina Hovell says after months of watching the union, district, and politicians direct the debate, she welcomes the survey, a chance for her to raise her voice and ask for a choice. If the parents that don't want their kids in school, they have every right not to. Uh, but the kids that do want to go to school and their parents agree with it, I think they should have a choice. That's all. And of course, this all happens against the backdrop of rising positivity rates here in Chicago and across the Midwest. In fact, today, CPS reported that 29 adults who had been inside of Chicago Public Schools buildings tested positive for COVID-19. That is the largest single day number since the start of the pandemic. Reporting live this evening in Lincoln Park, Mike Lowe, WGN News.